All right, gang, so here is my junk on the bunk gear review. I'm going to start off with my on body carry. So this is what I have on my body the entire time. We're just going to start at the bottom and work our way up here. We'll start with the clothing. Havana have a uh, pair of jeans from LA Police Gear, have a Velcro belt. Then we have our BDU top. It's the proper woodland camo. Uh, this particular top has been raid modded, so the pockets have been removed and reshuffled. So the lower pockets have been moved up to the chest, and then the chest pockets have been moved over to the sleeves for easier, um, easier carrying of on-body gear. So and in those pockets, we'll start with the, um, this is the right bicep pocket. We have a lighter, we have a wet fire fire starter, and then we have a ferro rod with striker to it as well. To our right chest pocket, we have a red pen light, we have a knife, and then we have a small boo-boo kit or first aid. Move over to our left, left chest pocket, we have a map and compass. And then our left bicep pocket, we have a buzzsaw for signaling. We have a right and a rain notebook with a pencil wrapped in duct tape, and then a Sharpie marker as well. Underneath that BDU top, we have just a plain poly cotton t-shirt. For headwear, I have a bandana for wearing around my head. That bandana also is a balaclava, so it folds down and can cover up my face for better concealment. I have ear protection, and then I have eye protection. On my feet, I just have a pair of GI combat boots with a pair of merino wool socks. For my hands, I have a pair of shooting gloves. And then for some additional protection from the bugs or for additional camo, I have a sniper veil for covering my head, my neck, whatever it may be, is what so I have on my body. Now on my person, I also wear a fanny pack, kind of like an everyday carry fanny pack. And inside that fanny pack, a fire starting kit. I keep some extra chem lights, Swiss Army knife, extra hank of 550 cord, an extra whistle, an extra red pen light, a small boo-boo kit, keep a pair of trauma shears, I keep a thing of gauze and chest seals, I keep a pressure bandage or a four inch Israeli bandage, and then a tourniquet. There's a fanny pack around the front side of my body, so when I have my clothing on, I snap this on to hang around the front, and then I put my LBE on over it, so that way at least that kit is always with me as well as what I have in my BDU shirt. Essentially, the idea with this is being that if I get bounced from camp or something, at least I know that I can grab that and have some survival things and first aid things in there to help me with getting out of Dodge to get me to wherever a pre-planned rendezvous point is or meetup point. All right, next we have my load-bearing equipment. So for my load-bearing equipment, I have a Schmirsch LBE. And in that Smirsh LBE, I have three rifle mags on the left-hand side, two smoke grenades, a sheath knife, a radio, wet wipes. Wet wipes serve multiple purposes, so it's always great to keep a package of those. I have a firearm cleaning kit that has a boar snake, a paint, o a, uh, paint can opener, a, um, a uh, BDU shirt cut up or a t-shirt cut up a brush, and some REM oil and ballistol wipes. And then as we work our way back, then I have an Esbit stove with fuel cubes in it. I have some instant coffee. I have a spork, and then I have a rag that it's all, or a um, cravat that it's all wrapped up in inside of. And then next to that, in the water bottle pocket that you see there, I have a one liter water bottle with a stainless steel cup and lid. Skip over on the other side, the other water bottle pocket has a water bottle with cup to it as well. Outside of that water bottle pocket I keep a thing of potable aqua along with a Sawyer Mini and the 16 ounce bladder that it comes with and that is uh, stored in that padded case. Next to that I keep my signaling kit which has a signal panel to it, has a compass, has a mirror, has a whistle, and has a buzz saw to it. In front of that, in the GP pouch, I have my night vision along with an extra rag that it's wrapped up inside of. 
In front of that, I have three more rifle mags for a total of six rifle mags. I have a pair of binoculars. Then I have a Swiss Army knife. All that is stored inside the Smirsh. And then I also have pace beads on the shoulder straps of the Smirsh. So all of that is self-contained there. We get into the butt pack. My butt pack has a dry bag in there. Um, you can see right there. And inside that dry bag is a spare pair of socks and a uh, whoopee hoodie or a um, poncho liner, depending upon time of year. During the summer months, I just like keeping the, the uh, whoopee hoodie in there. Also, that's strapped to the bottom of the butt pack is a um, canvas tarp piece that I can use as a shooter's mat or something to sit on. And then I have a poncho in there. And then with that poncho, I have a shelter kit, which includes four bungees and then four stakes as well. And all of that is kept inside a stuff sack. It's all rolled up together. Also in the butt pack, I keep one day's worth of rations. I have a GP pouch that I keep inside of the butt pack. And that GP pouch, I have an extra Sharpie marker, about 30 feet of cordage. I have a lighter wrapped in duct tape. I have another ferro rod. I have some electrical tape, spare batteries, a wet fire fire starter, some camo face paint. I have a red and white headlamp. And then I have a couple of zip ties for uh, just helping with securing gear or whatnot if anything breaks, kind of like a mini repair kit, if you will. So all of that is kept in my load bearing equipment. All right, and then last but certainly not certainly not least is my rifle. So this here, this is the Androcorp AR-15 Bravo 16 Mod Zero. It has been painted to match the surroundings in my area. It has an MFT minim minimalist stock on it, MFT pistol grip. Uh, what else? Geez, we have a Pursed 4 on it. We have a weapons mounted light with pressure pad. The LPVO is a Firefield Rapid Strike in the 1 by 1 to 6 by 24. And I've kept the rear cap on it just for, especially patrolling in adverse weather conditions. That way at least your um, lens isn't getting all caked up with water and mud and so on and so forth there. I do have a Magpul foregrip on it as well and a Brash Tactical Rifle Sling. Now on the rifle here, I also have cleaning my... rod. You can see it right there. That cleaning rod is zip tied to the handguard. So if I do have a stuck casing that the paint can opener won't get, won't be able to get out, I still have my two piece rod on there for being able to get it out. Also for being able to knock out like a plug of dirt um, or any other debris that's in there that a boar snake and a can opener tool just are not going to be able to get to. So I highly recommend keep some sort of a collapsible rod on your rifle um, so that you can get rid of any of those types of malfunctions. But that is it.